Hi guys, welcome back and today we are beginning a very special campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.6. Yesterday we are starting our Rhodes Hot Seat campaign with Rather Incoherent. So if you want to see all of these episodes guys, make sure you subscribe to both this channel and Rather Incoherent's channel which will be linked down in the description down below so that you can see all of these juicy videos. We're going to be doing one video each, sending the save across to each other, and seeing what happens. This is going to be really, really fun. And we are playing as Rhodes because they are one of the most sandbox nations in the whole game. So let's get into the gameplay. So here we are as Rhodes, guys. And of course, the first thing that we have done is accepted the extreme mode. So we are playing very hard, very hard on extreme mode, which should be really good fun and a bit of a challenge for both of us. Now, if you have seen my Rhodes guide, guys, and all my other faction guides in the Rhodes guide, I recommend going for Crete. That is definitely the easiest and quickest strategy as Rhodes to do well. But, <laughs> for Rain, which is what I'm going to call rather incoherent throughout this video, guys. That's his nickname. So, for Rain, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. A little bit tasty. A little bit juicy. A nice spicy meatball for all of you guys. Of course, we're not just going to do the generic stat uh, strap when we're playing a hot seat campaign, guys. We've got to go wild. We've got to go crazy. And there's one city that we have our eyes upon. Yes, the glorious city of Alexandria. Oh my days. This is going to be fun. They do have this monstrous army in there. So this does rely a little bit on RNG. It does rely on that large army going somewhere else. Now, normally they either go for Kyrene or they go up north to try and fight the Seleucids. So we've got to try and hope that they do that. We're also going to be massively in debt by the time we get there. But don't you worry, we will have plenty, plenty of money after we take the hallowed city of Alexandria. So let's get our army on the ships straight away. Bing, bada boom. We are going to take Agathocles as well. And we are going to take our whole army. There's no point leaving any of these boys behind. And we are going to swap over this boy from Lindos into Rhodes. Put the tax rate up to as high as possible believe we can only go normal in Lindos, yes. And we are going to get sailing straight across to Alexandria. Got a nice marker there. Some sort of lighthouse or something, guys, that no one's ever heard of before, of course. Um, <laughs> that's very easy to see. So let's also do our building on the first turn. And I think we're going to go for the, shri the crop rotation. That is all of our money, though. So let's have a look at Lindos. I mean, there's nothing really in here that we want. I also don't really want to recruit too many troops here because it's a uh, a long way to get to Alexandria. <laughs> so uh, maybe we should recruit a slinger. Let's go for the Rhodian slingers, guys. These guys are amazing. Armor-piercing slingers with eight missile attack, which is insane. With 160 missile range. Very, very spicy army there. Very, very spicy unit, should I say. Um, so we're also going to go for the Shrine to Poseidon to get that trade income bonus in there. It's another 39. It's not huge, but it is something. So we are going to go for that in both of our cities. I'm also going to queue up something else, and that is going to be another Slinger. So although... You know, it's a long way to get to Alexandria. We're going to queue up two Slingers. And in four turns, we're going to have two extra Slingers. And it also offers a little bit extra protection over here. And hopefully, we can then, you know, ship them across. I mean, it's a long way. But that is the hope, anyway. <laughs> that at some point, probably in Rain's episode, <laughs> that he can begin to ship those boys across. And while we're at it, we are going to try and get trade rights, which got us 400 gold straight away, which is fantastic. Also, an alliance, and it looks like they're willing to offer us some money for it. Let's go for a 1,000. They're still very generous. Wow. I would rather take a regular tribute, to be fair. 
Let's try a thousand over five turns. I don't know why they think this is so generous. This is now balanced. Okay, that is fantastic. Very hard AI, loves a bit of roads for the boys. Let's also get a trade agreement with the Seleucids. Potentially an alliance. If I give you map information, no, it's definitely not going to do anything. Let's try and sell map information to these guys. 500. There we go. No, they definitely won't accept. And while we are on the way, nope, they definitely don't want a trade agreement with us there. Now, let's keep coming around. We're going to use our boy to try and get a few extra trade. Come on, you surely you can talk to him. Really? Really? Okay, fine. Well, I will get moving this ship, guys, and I will see you in a couple of turns. Well, specifically... <laughs> Three or four turns when we get there. <laughs> I'll see you there, guys. We're also trying to be as scummy as possible with all our diplomatic relations. Trying to get money off Prying. Oh, that's very close. I mean, let's try this time like 600. Maybe they'll accept. But there's a weird little quirk which we've just uh, shown there, guys. That in Rome... Total War in general, in the engine, if you are rejected to start with, then it is very, very much more likely that they're going to reject you a second time. Now, is this going to work? So is this going to work? I can't give them money because we are in the negative. So I can't actually give them anything. We're just going to take the alliance then. We're just going to take the alliance. I was going to say what you can actually do is offer them something as a gift. For example, map information, and it will reset it, and then you can go again, and it will reset their relations, and they won't have that malice against you. But anyway, we got an alliance with Priene, one of the strongest nations in Anatolia, of course, guys. <laughs> They're going to be a big help against the Ptolemies. I can see it now. One thing to note, guys, is we are going to be sending each other the saves after each episode, and probably recording pretty much as soon as possible afterwards. So it is very unlikely that we are actually going to see each other's gameplay before we play these. We are going to send a little sentence to each other so that we know kind of a little bit, hopefully a bit of a funny sentence depending on what's happened. But we are really not going to be able to see what's happened. So we're going to be coming into a lot of these episodes blind, which I think is going to make them even more enjoyable and even more fun to play for us as well. So this is the moment of truth, guys. And if you're wondering how we've got positive income, it's because we've been rinsing the AI for map information and alliances. I know it's a bit dirty, but it's going to make a big difference in the long run, having that extra cash. Because otherwise, we've done about three or four turns. We'd be at about minus 6,000, guys, which is crazy. But this is the nervous moment. This is really the nervous moment. This is the moment where I reload. <laughs> if everything goes terribly and that full stack is still there. Yes, sir. But uh, okay, it's not. It's really not. I should have brought the spy, shouldn't I? What an idiot <laughs> to open the gates. They've got nobody in there apart from two units. We do have a Rodian slinger boy, which is fantastic. So let's get us off the ships, and we are going to declare war on the Ptolemies. I haven't toggled Fog of War at all, so I honestly have no idea where that army is. It could be anywhere. It could literally just be here, and we're going to get rinsed. Or it could be all the way over here by now. We do not know, but we are about to lay a claim to Alexander's empire here, guys. <laughs> glorious, glorious, glorious siege of Alexandria. And in fact, we are going to send our boat back straight away. It's a very risky tactic doing this. But, you know, we've got to go hard or go home really, haven't we guys? Also got to be wary of that massive army over here. So that is why I've left my spy here. It might even be better to bring him around this way. So we can kind of see all the way around over here. Can, if we stand on that mountain, does that actually make a difference in terms of being able to see? It kind of does. That's quite cool. So we're going to stay here just to make sure that we cannot, of course, um, get that big army coming to take Rhodes. But honestly, once we've taken Alexandria, guys, we don't need Rhodes anymore. I know Rhodes is a fantastic, fantastic place. That's fine. Oh, no. Our alliance with the Greek city-states has gone away. 
but that's fine. And I think we're going to end the turn there, guys, and see what we can do next turn. And hopefully, we are not attacked by a big Ptolemaic army that is just standing right here. <laughs> Oh, that was a tense end turn, I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> and luckily, we see no army right now. So, we're all right. We're in a decent situation. We're still in positive gold, which is crazy. <laughs> really, really good. Uh, lots of alliances and things happening over here. The Olympic Games are about to be held as well, which is fantastic. That can give us some really good traits for our boys and unfortunately there's a chip there but our admiral actually starts off really really good legendary admiral so i hope he doesn't die admiral the navigator that's his name his name is literally admiral the navigator wow <laughs> can't get much more of an admiral name than that i mean when he was born surely they just tossed him onto a ship and was like you go and lead the men baby <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, I think it's time, guys. I do really do think it's time. Let's do a little bit more scumming of the AI, generous, as usual. Generous for this one. Let's try a thousand. Let's see whether we get this. No, our foolish generosity. They don't, they don't want to scam us by giving us a thousand. 290. I mean, it's better than nothing. I mean, we don't really need to scam the AI too much anymore because we're about to have some very, very nice income. So let's go for that again. Let's see whether they'll think 2,000 is a scam. Because it definitely is a scam. Oh, God. <laughs> this is filthy. <laughs> this is really bad. I'm sorry, AI. But, you know, unfortunately, your lack of brain is very apparent right now. But let's get into the Siege of Alexandria. They have some Therapeia infantry. And some Basilicon Agima. So, palace guards. The, the really elite troops of the Ptolemies. Which is going to make this quite a bit harder. But I think we can still do a really good job. Especially with the Rhodian Slinger Boys. So, I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Here we are, guys. The Siege of Alexandria. And we have an ambient sandstorm as well. Which is glorious to see some ambient lighting for you all. Now, very likely, I've tested this a couple of times, the AI is just going to sit on the middle of the battle map. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to try and bait them. It might be a bit of a repetitive battle, but fighting these elite units on the middle of the battle map is never a good idea. Look at these boys. 40 defense and 19 morale. 16 melee attack with a sword. Which is insane. That is really, really good. And of course, the Agima, 44 defense. Yes. <laughs> so, some pretty good units they've got there. But we're going to try and bait them anyway. So, I will see you in a little bit, guys. So, I don't know how. But somehow, I've got some Prodromoi dancing around in the middle. What are you boys doing? And a general as well. God damn it, man. <laughs> is that an actual general? Please don't. I mean, if it's our actual general, that's actually fantastic. I think it is our general because he's never gonna—he's not gonna die. <laughs> that is our general. <laughs> well, the general's gonna be safe. That's good. <laughs> We're gonna try and use the superior range of our Rhodian boys to bait these guys off the town square. And that is pretty much the tactic we're going to use. And it's going to be rinse and repeat, guys, as long as the timer doesn't run out. So we're going to continue doing that and seeing whether we can fell a few of these boys. And, of course, the armor-piercing slingers are going to be insanely good at this. So we are going to try and bait these boys as much as possible and sandwich them down the middle. God damn it. The guys, there is, there's, there's a pathing issue here, guys, where... <sighs> These guys, like, you, you put them here, and they won't they won't go there. They just cancel the movement order. So, we've lost a few of our Rhodian Slingers already, which is a kind of a nightmare. Not very happy about that, I'm not going to lie. But it's fine. We have managed to bait these boys into the fight. So, let's get them in the fight, and we can pummel them with javelins. And then we're going to pummel them from the back. 
with our general and his bodyguard. They probably won't charge. They don't like to charge when they are in a city. But we shall try anyway. And hopefully the Akontistai... Keep firing, guys. Keep firing. Keep firing, man. Keep firing as much as possible. And then we're going to charge. Because these guys are so strong. So we got to fire. Come on, boys. What, how can you miss that badly, man? Come on. <laughs> Look at the Javis go. Look at them go. Absolutely ruining them. Now, I hope we don't lose too many more of our slingers. But it's fine. Whatever happens. We're probably doing a bit of friendly fire. But not too much. I wanted to save a few Javis for the Therapeia. But once these guys are dead, there's no guarantee that the Therapeia will actually be in a position where we can fire at them. So for now... We are going to just fire at them like that. And let's just watch the glory of this unit. This elite unit just dying in the sandstorm here. Look how good these units look. Don't they look stunning, guys? They look absolutely beautiful. I say this every time, but they do look amazing. A 20-year-old engine, this is. Which is just insane, really, when you think about it. Right. One more volley from the boys. And then we're going to charge. No, let's just charge now. These guys can waste whatever ammo they want. And that's them. That's the last of their ammo. Now, they probably won't charge, but we are going to rally the general. And he has returned from his trip down the alleyways. <laughs> See, that is not... What? What? That is not a charge. They, they went through... How did they go through the building? Let's kill them all. Let's make sure we kill the general. Is that them all? Just one guy left. Good. The general. He is dead. Finally. Right, let's try now to bait the second unit of Therapeia Infantry. Uh, can you go? There we go. That's good. We'll try and bait them as far as possible, but it's very unlikely that they are actually going to want to do this. I am going to run the Slingers the other way this time because they clearly don't want to come around this way. I don't know why, but they just don't. They just don't like doing it. Here we go. There we go. Now, we've got to be careful here because they do have javelins, these boys. They're actually, you know, insanely strong javelins as well. Now, I'm wondering whether they will go through the building. Yes, they're going to go through that building. Right. Well, run this way then. Okay, run through the building. It might protect you guys. <laughs> Protection. Protection from the building, it seems. Right, get there. That You should be able to get there. But if they keep on just staying there... Let's see what happens, right? I'm going to rinse and repeat this, guys, until they do come and attack us. So I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, I think the pathing in Alexandria <laughs> may be a little bit broken. These poor slingers, man. They've been stood here, and I just kept doing this, and they did not move. They did not move. And over here, over here, and they just stood there and just took it. They just took it. <laughs> so <laughs> I think Alexandria might be, you know, a little bit problematic. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the bathing. But, uh, yeah. It is Rome Total War. What do you expect, guys? <laughs> right, let's try and push them off the square here. We're also going to go for actual cavalry charges here. So we can try and break them. Because we have now squished them. So let's go for the charge. Hopefully overwhelming numbers will make them pretty upset because their general is dead. But you can see, they're actually falling relatively quickly. They will have got a lot of... Um, they will have got a lot of damage from all the missiles that have been fired into them over the period where we were just, you know, uh, attacking them. A bit of a shame that the Rodians are down to 43 men now. Not just a bit of a shame, quite a bad shame, to be honest. And now we just need to wait 2 minutes 41 unless they manage to push back through. So what I'm thinking is if we get our cavalry over here, go for a charge in the side there and really just try and break them. That would be the main thing. If we can break these boys, that'd be fantastic. Like I say, they're a very good unit. Let's rally so our general doesn't die. And they actually are going to charge. Wow. They actually did manage to charge. And that was quite a good charge, in fact. Down to 50 men. There we go. Alexandria is now ours, boys. Yes, the jewel of the Mediterranean is now ours. So let's end the battle and let us... 103... Now, in our test run, I did 105, so two men better. Wow. <laughs> we didn't need to kill quite as many, but the Rhodian Slingers are not quite 
the MVP here, the Akontistai with 45 kills. Well done, boys. Anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory. Absolutely glorious. Fantastic. Um, yes, men are moving. They've been, they've been dead in game. <laughs> there we go. Right, we are going to enslave, which is going to definitely make Lindos <laughs> want to upgrade. But it's going to give us a little bit of cash. Not a huge amount of cash, but a little bit of cash and make Lindos grow, which is great. So let us enslave. We now got the Pharos at Alexandria, which halves the chance of nearby ships at sea sinking and increases naval movement allowances, which is actually fantastic for us because we do need those naval movement allowances. Have we moved this boy? Yes, we have. So let's have a look at our things. Town expands Lindos. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit over the uh, upgrade threshold. So, uh, yeah, we definitely want to get that one in there. Uh, we've also captured the Wonder and Agas Agathostratos. <laughs> there we go. Agathostratos of Rhodes. This general has captured Alexandria. Nikesas Alexandrias. Stratahos, your excellent leadership has brought us the jewel of Egyptos. Alexandria. Built on the orders of Megas Alexandros himself, and one of the greatest cities of the world. Many wonders are found here, such as the Pharos of Alexandria and the Great Library, one of the largest and most significant libraries of the ancient world. But most importantly, the remains of Alexandros himself have been located. Now, I'm going to quick save there as well, just to make sure if we get any issues, we can come back to that. Um, after the battle. So I don't need to play the battle one more time. Now, of course, we are going to destroy this Ptolemaic recruitment. Very nice indeed. Are we up here? Have we scammed anyone else this turn? We will deal with that in a little bit. I'll probably do that off camera as well. <laughs> more scamming of the AI. And of course, we have the Library of Alexandria, which of course is really, really good. It's better than Eludus Magna. It's going to make our guys who stay in here really, really fantastically good. We've also got a, uh, um, this guy from Kyrene, a spy from Kyrene. Let's have a look. We got quite a lot of unrest, I've got to say. 50% is quite insane, really. <laughs> and that army, that army could be anywhere. That is a major issue. So let us drag the Akontistai together. Let's also see if we can leave Alexandria. So we're going to pop out here. And we are on 0%. 15%. That is not good. Now, I am thinking we do really want to carry on conquering here. Because I really do need a buffer state. Well, we need a buffer state. We really do need a buffer state. Because if we leave just Alexandria by itself, there is a high chance... That that large army is just going to march on down here and just take Alexandria back with all our troops in it. And, you know, that's that's a, that's a campaign kind of over. <laughs> so we need at least one buffer state while we are building this, the Rhodian Recruitment 1. So we need to build that. We also need to make sure they're happy. So I am very much contemplating leaving... Agus, uh, sorry, Agathostratos. Very hard for me to say that. I don't know why. And just popping on with Agathocles over here. So, where do we want to go? There's a city up here. There's a city in there. So, let's pop across this way. I'd rather take ones on the estuary. Because we have really good fertility down here. Very high base farming level. Which is insanely good. Going to give us loads of cash. We are up to 70% now as well. Which is fantastic. Hopefully that spy leaves. Because Kyrene is not at war with us. And hopefully they leave. And that's going to give us 15% more to play with. Because 15% unrest you get from enemy spies. Uh, from uh, spies of not your nation being in your land. So we don't want that of course. So let's pop across here. And we do have now Kratis up here. It's a large town. It's got a little bit of a garrison with a general as well. So they can actually muster quite a decent army here. Do we have any mercenaries? Literally none. Well, <laughs> great. But we are going to go for now Kratis. And really, really hope that the enemy does not come knocking. Now, we could fall off this bridge here. 
once we've taken now Kratos, but we shouldn't need to because now Kratos should be okay by itself. But ideally, my plan at this point would be to take as many of these little settlements as possible before that big army comes knocking. And then hopefully by that time the army comes knocking, this will be done and we can actually retrain some troops. We're also going to pick up some more slingers. Now, one more turn before these guys get back. But what I'm thinking is, although it's wasting a little bit of cash, let's build that in anyway. And yeah, let's build the Temple of Artemis because it's going to be more useful in the long run anyway. Um, even if we can't retrain these guys from it. But this is going to be one turn to get there. So that's going to be one turn done. And then it's probably not going to have any movement points. So there'd be no point moving anyway. So we might as well wait one more turn for this unit to be done. And then we can send them back across. Now, is there anything else we want to do before we end the turn? Oh, yes. Scam the AI. Well, I'm going to go and try and do that, guys. And I will see you after the end turn. I've realized I've made a little mistake, guys. I should have definitely got a ship in Lindos while we were coming back. So, oh my god, look at the Ptolemies go. We're going to go into the port here. Look how many ships they have now. Um, <laughs> oh dear, that's not great for us, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I think it's fine anyway. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, lots of allies going on. The Bessie getting some allies in there as well. And yeah, we're making some decent money now because, of course, we have Alexandria. Let's also have a look. We're making 1,800 from here. We're only losing 153 from corruption. That is not bad at all. That, that in fact, is really good. I'm, I'm very happy with that. So yeah, we don't need to worry about corruption too much. Unfortunately, unrest has come down a little bit. We've still got a lot of penalties, though. Uh, mainly squalor, um, which is not good. But Alexandria is ours. That's that's the main thing. That's the positives we're going to take from this, guys. <laughs> so let's go for the Siege of Naukratis. And yeah, two rams should be plenty. They do have some phalangites. Now that is a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. The general shouldn't be too much of a worry, but we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did last time. Try and bait them off the town square and surround and kill. So I will see you there, guys. It's a day for the histories. Tales of bravery that will be written in the blood of our foes. Yes, glorious. And again, Sandstorm, why did I not wait? <laughs> well, we've had two very atmospheric battles, guys. Who needs Total War Pharaoh Sandstorms when you've got RAS ones, eh? So let's get the Acontisti ruling this ram i think for now we're gonna try and do just one ram no let's let's do two let's do two and we're gonna go here because here it shouldn't really fire at us so hopefully it doesn't but we shall see so we have got all our javi men behind the gate now it's been knocked down so that we can just fire through there and push them off the gate um, now, this would be a good opportunity to try and surround them. But we're going to try and get our men in. So let's go and try and just get into the city right now. It's going to be a bit of a mess going through the gates. But let's lead the way with those boys. And of course, these guys actually can fire. They've got such a long range. It's insane. Um, and the main thing we're going to do is we're going to come through this way here and try and fire at them. Is there anywhere that's a good little spot to fire over? I mean, here... They should be able to fire over those trees, I believe. But we shall check that. We shall check, just to make sure. Here come the Greek hoplites, my men. So let's halt the men there around the corner so they can't actually get a good charge off. We're also going to send these guys around as quick as possible. And we're going to send our general and the prodromoi around this way so they can charge them in the back and hopefully break them. Because I don't think their general's going to come and support. I would love their phalangites to come off the town square because they are going to be the hardest ones to beat. But it looks like they're just going to go and stand over there. So that's fine. You guys get going. Please get going. Right, we're going to get the general in there as well. We're going to get the Prodromoi here. And we're also going to try and get the Acontisti there as well. To 
try and fire into the back of them. Come on, General. Where are you? You're there. Right, my friend. Okay, they are actually firing because the General's coming. Here he comes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Go, men. Go. Don't stop, you fools. Go. Charge. Come on, man. Go. Trap these boys. Trap them. And this, this uh, hoplite is going to take a bit of a battering. But that's fine. And here come the phalangites. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Get them off the town square. Get off there, you fools. Uh, it looks like our like, guys are getting a bit stuck. I'm not going to lie. And this guy is very old and frail. So even if he dies, it shouldn't matter. We just don't want him to die anyway so that he doesn't, you know, make all our men rout. But now we have fully surrounded these boys. That is fantastic. And the phalangites are coming. Yes, they are. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's get around this way. And as soon as they get close, hopefully the Akontistai can fire at them. And then we can charge them in the back with both the Prodromoi and the General. That would be glorious. Because you can actually get through this little gap, guys, in case you don't know. So that is going to be fantastic. We've not even actually used these archers or anything here. We just need to squish these boys. So as soon as they turn, let us keep firing. In fact, I am considering moving one of these guys, this back one around the other way so let's go let's reposition him and this is glorious this is glorious yes men yes right men through into the middle if you can go through that way where is the general oh he's still there good now this poor unit is going to get a bit battered i'm not going to lie but we're going to have a sandwich on a sandwich here the triple sandwich the triple sandwich for the boys yeah this poor unit is going to get a little bit battered okay they stopped their phalangites Good. Oh, now they put it down. Keep firing. Keep firing, men. This is your best opportunity to get rid of these boys. Right. General time. See if we can kill them. Prodromoy 2. You should be able to fire at these boys. Yes. Get the jabbies going in. Okay. We're going to take a bit of a battering here with our hoplites. But I'm hoping we can replace them relatively easily sometime soon. Let's rally with the men. Okay, he's turned. He's turned. We don't want to face that fight if he turns. Right. These guys get in there and just sandwich them. We want, to, we want to fight them off the town square, remember? And when that general dies, we should be good. I know we've taken a bit of a battering with the hoplites. But once this general dies, these guys are very likely to break. So we want to keep this up. You guys have used all your ammo now. That's fine. So we're going to bring you through. What we're going to do with these boys is get over here. Let's get around this way. In fact, what we're going to do with the Akontistai 2 is get around this way. Will you go? No, you're going the wrong way. Go this way. All the way through. Okay. We are now surrounding those boys. And it's just Greek Hoplite on our Hoplites. No, our Hoplites are routing. Terrible, terrible effort from the boys. Where's our general now? Right. We all need to get through here. So go, 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 go. Same with you. Get through. Unfortunately, they're routing. That is not good. These guys are shaken. We need our general. We need our general. Go, 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 go. A lot tougher than I was than I was expecting these troops. I'm not going to lie. So let's get these guys in. Let's also try and get the progeny in the charge because they're not too bad on the charge. Let's get close to these men and rally them. We need to kill their general. This is the issue. Rally. They should be fine now. Good. Okay, that was actually not a good charge. But it wasn't terrible either. Now we're going to get it stuck. Don't get stuck, men. Don't get stuck. Prodromoy out. Prodromoy out. Prodromoy out. Go, go, go. Archers and that. We're going to get you here. Now our general is going to get absolutely murdered here. That is not good. We need to get him out. Get out, my friend. Get out. Really? He's routing... Wait, is that their general or mine that has just died? Oh, he's died. No. Right. Let's squish them. Wow. What a mess. What a mess. This is not good. Their general's still not died. How has he not died? Fire. Fire, men. Fire. Prodromoy, get out of the way for a second. Akontista, you're going to have to get in the fight. You guys, we're going to get you forward. Oh, this is brutal. This is really brutal. This is really brutal. This is going a lot worse than I expected, honestly. But very hard, very hard. And we've got 30 seconds. So, um, well done, AI. I mean, you killed our general. <laughs> you killed our general, my men. But you forgot about the town square. 
So, as messy and terrible this, as this battle was, <laughs> we're, we're still going to win. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, because I feel like we've completely fucked this battle up. And, you know... <laughs> I mean, we had to seize those opportunities. But, yes, great victory. <laughs> <laughs> they killed a lot more, and unfortunately, the generals died. He was going to die. He normally dies within about five to ten turns anyway, guys. So that's how I'm going to try and uh, <laughs> try and explain it anyway to Rain. <laughs> we didn't need him anyway, did we, guys? So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we go, guys. So let us enslave now Kratis as well. Now, that actually might push these guys to be a bit upset. It does, unfortunately. These guys in now Kratis are fine, though. They're not too unhappy. So, I mean, we could turtle. What I'm thinking of doing is sending this 13 men back. That was not enough to make a difference. I feel like, I mean, after that battle, there's not really much we can do in the way of um, killing this guy now. Because that just showed us that our army's not quite strong enough to really take these guys on. In a defensive siege. Even though we did take it. And we do have mercenaries available. I mean the Nubian cavalry. Are not fantastic. But they are horse archers. So. Yeah. Let's also. I mean they're, they're so expensive though mercenaries. Like unbelievably expensive. But Agathocles the frail. Just proved how frail he really was. We definitely need Ago. Uh, Ago throw Stratos in here, though. But we should have reinforcements soon. Now, considering the situation we're in, what I'm going to do, we're probably going to end the episode here. I'm going to send all the men back that we can afford back to the main city. Leave the Akontistai in now. Kratis, is that enough? It is plenty. We're going to go into Alexandria. Oh, really? Okay, I was going to say, 95%. We can't quite go up to normal. That would be really nice, that extra 300 gold, to be fair. And I'm going to leave Rain to decide what to do. <laughs> I mean, I would probably keep pushing for Sias and Zeos. There's also a settlement here. So, no, I'd probably push for this settlement, to be honest, because it's kind of protected by now Kratis. So that one's probably quite a nice one to get hold of. Let's have a look at it so we can see it. Again, it's got a general and three units in. Wow. Wow, really? Thank you, game. <laughs> Thank you, game. So let's decide what we're going to build in now, Kratis, then. Let's go for... I mean, we could go for Rodian recruitment as well, but all it gets is Rodian hoplites and some Egyptian units. Oh, dearie me. Well, one more turn until we take that unit. What I might do is wait a single more turn. Just so I can get this boat moving. So that Rain doesn't forget about it or miss it or something. Um, I know it's a risky strat moving this boat. But hopefully we can move out of the range of those boys. But they don't, they won't have troops on. Yeah, it is risky. But I think that's the best thing to do. So let's check we are building everywhere we are. I don't want to queue in any more troops. I'll let Rain decide whether he wants to do that or not. In here, do we go for another recruitment? I mean, it's properly aggressive doing that, right? And it is a large town. And with all the enslavements we're going to do in this area, it's probably going to grow relatively quickly. So, honestly, there's nothing else really in here. 7% population growth is insanely good as well. <laughs> so, no marmalization this episode, though. But I think... No, let's be sensible. Mm, uh, <laughs> this is a really, really hard decision, especially when I know I'm not the one playing next. <laughs> like, I don't want to fuck Rain over at all. I want him to have a nice time, but I mean, I kind of already fucked him over by doing such a horrible, horrible, brutal strategy. <laughs> I think we've got to go aggressive. I think we've got to go for it. We've got to invest our money while we have it. So let's go for that in there. 
Let's also... I mean, if we leave it here, he could cancel the building. But I, I do want to make sure that those Rodian Slinger boys uh, get taken across. So let's uh, try scam some more money off the AI. Let's go for about 2,000. Okay, good. More money for map information, maybe, my friend? Maybe about 800 for that as well? 500. I mean, I'd take that, yeah. More scamming of the AI. I love it. Well, I'll see you after this turn, guys. Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> the army has arrived, guys, at exactly the wrong time. Clearly the wrong time. What an awful time for that to happen. We are going to go into Lindos to try and make it happy because they do need to upgrade. Uh, and we have got that guy. Philiskos of Lindos got a historian as well. Very nice. That is this guy, right? Philiskos of Lindos. Yes, nice. And Admiral the Navigator... Come on. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> um, Ptolemies are just blocking us there. That's not really very good <laughs> either, is it? <laughs> but we do have a lot worse things to worry about. I'm not going to lie. Um, now, if you've got battle timer on, you can probably cheese the hell out of this battle. And probably win. I think, maybe, with the Prodromoi destroying all their siege equipment. Forcing them to not use rams. Because it does have stone walls. And then just holding them on the walls. Until the timer runs out. But. <laughs> this is a big but. It just might not be winnable. So, I am going to ask Rain if he wants this save or he wants me to do it again i mean if he doesn't want this save i don't blame him at all <laughs> so <laughs> if you see this though he did take it so kudos to him fair play um if he manages to survive this what a beast what a beast of a man if he manages to survive this so i'm gonna give him the option and we shall see i mean i would try and take it and then <laughs> <laughs> and then see what we could do. But, yeah, that's brutal. There's also the chance that the AI just leaves. Like, the AI just, just goes away. Because they, they do that quite often where they'll siege down the city and then just leave. So, that might happen as well. But overall, it's not a good situation for us. Maybe going for Alexandria wasn't, wasn't the best option. But anyway, it has been a pleasure, guys. It's been a fun episode, hasn't it? So make sure you check out Rain's channel, Rather Incoherent, on YouTube for the second episode. And if you do see this, then I'm assuming he has beaten this army. So fair play. Well done for the future, my friend. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.